Hi, how are you doing? It's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides and this is just a quick course walk of the round turf circuit at Lingfield. Um, this is aimed at the up and coming flat season. Obviously they use the round, uh, the round course for any trips over 7 furlongs 140 yards, so the mile trips um, any race over that distance is used on the round course. They have the straight course, which obviously runs up here as well for seven furlong 140 yard races, seven furlong, six furlong, five furlong races, but everything else over um, over that distance is run on the, on the round course here at the turf. Now the characteristics of this course are its undulations. It is quite an undulating course. Um, it's why they use it for the Derby trial. It's very similar to Epsom. Um, in its course characteristics and um, so it does require quite a bit of stamina to get the trip round here. Certainly if we have had some summer showers or some rain and it softens up a bit um, it takes a bit of getting here. So I'll just do a quick course uh, walk around the round course and I'll point out some of the characteristics as we're going round. As usual with these course walks you've got a little video here in the bottom left hand corner that you can watch um, as I'm going round. So let's start the video running and we'll start from the finish line just here and move our way around this bottom corner here. Now what you'll notice is that it starts to climb uphill around this corner. So from here where it's fairly flat it starts to climb here and it gently rises to around this point here which is the summit of the, um, the start of the back straight in effect. So I'll just go around there and if you watch the video you'll be able to see that it does climb, climb up see it gently rising around there, around that bend. Now we're in March at the moment so they've just removed the hurdles from the last uh, jumps meeting which was last week and then we're coming around here to the top of the straight. You can see on the left here is the eight mile, this is the, uh, sorry, the, the eight furlong, the one mile point on the um, all-weather track. So as you come round here, this is around the top of the crest here, you can see we're just coming up to it now and then it starts to drop downhill as you can see, I'm pointing it out there with my finger and um, from about this point it starts to drop noticeably downhill. So down the back straight here it's all downhill, a nice long straight downhill. And then as you approach the bottom corner, you'll see it starts to um, starts to level out again and then climbs quite sharply from this bottom corner here um, up to the top of the summit here. Now this is about the steepest part of the track here and the highest points around here as well. So we'll just keep the video moving forward. You can see we're starting on this sharper bend here at the bottom and that's the five furlong start you can see that little shoot here on the all-weather track that's the five furlong start for the all-weather and this is where the turf track does move away from the um, from the all-weather the all-weather you can see veers off inwards here I mean a similar shape both a triangular shape but the turf then, the turf round course then goes out into the country a bit more here, as I say, climbing up this hill. Um, you can see we're just coming round here to the start of this hill. And then as we come round this bend, you'll see it does start to climb quite sharply from around here. You can see ahead of you the summit just up there, but it is quite a sharp climb up here. Uh, as you walk around it you can really notice that there's a climb here so quite a pull um, as I say very much like Epsom and then you climb up up this hill and you can see you're still climbing quite sharply up the hill here towards this summit um, it's around here actually you can see it's quite steep And then we're just about to reach the summit here and you can see the fencing start to 
bend down then. So you'll see I stop and look around when we get to the top. That's the downhill part. And then you can see across to the buildings, to the grandstand here. And this is where it does come downhill fairly sharply now. And the horses really gather speed into this corner as they come into the home straight. So you can see we're coming downhill here. And then we swing round and join the straight course. If you've watched the straight course video, you'll see that I look up this hill um, and it shows how, how steep it is. So that's the straight course up there. And then we're turning now into the home straight here. There's a slight uphill, I'd say. It's very, very gentle. It's ha hardly noticeable, but there is a slight uphill. until around this point um, and you're probably about we're just approaching the two furlong mark you see this marker on the left here that we're coming up to that's the two furlong point that pole just there white pole there that's the two furlong marker and you can see the chase fences on the right again And then this is the one furlong marker we're approaching. Just going past that now. And then we're just approaching the hotel and the grandstand on the right here. You can see this group of school children actually um, who were learning about racing they're right on the finish line so as we approach the finish line it's a, a flat finish here as you approach the grandstand and that's the finish so that's the round turf course at Lingfield just recapping summarizing you've got a gentle uphill climb around this long sweeping bend here until you get to the peak um, or the summit around here and then it's a nice gentle downhill run all the way to this bottom corner um, and then it flattens out slightly at the bottom corner before climbing quite steeply and sharply up this bottom edge to around here which is around the summit just here and then it does come downhill very sharply as you come round and into the home straight and then it's a gentle uphill stretch and gently downhill so more or less flat all the way down to the finish line from there so hopefully that's helped you hopefully that will help you um, understand what you're looking at when you watch some of the turf racing through the summer at Lingfield and um, I'll leave the video there thank you very much for your time take care hope that's been useful bye now